welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Kendall and today I am back with another first impressions video for a Trader Joe's skincare product. Now, recently, probably about a couple videos ago, I shared my initial thoughts on the Trader Joe's Watermelon Facial Mist. So if you want to check that out, I will leave it linked down below for you, and I will also leave a link to my blog post about the same product down there. So basically, I did like the video as a first impressions, and then I followed up in a blog post with my final thoughts on it. So if you wanna check out both of those, like I said, they will be down below. But for today's video, I am going to be sharing my initial thoughts on the Trader Joe's Watermelon Overnight Face Mask. So this mask is a cooling pink watermelon scented overnight mask that is a water-based gel formula. It is sold for $6.99 for two fluid ounces, which is honestly such a good deal considering that there are other watermelon face mask products on the market that run 45 to 50 dollars for not a lot more product and this mask is formulated with watermelon fruit extract, watermelon seed extract, as well as watermelon fruit water. And if we want to get into some of the more specific ingredients that aren't watermelon related, this does contain sodium hyaluronate, which works to hydrate. It also contains a little bit of glycolic acid, which is to exfoliate. It has plant-derived squalin to moisturize, and it also has other botanicals that work to really invigorate and brighten the skin. But of course, when I originally found it in the store, what really caught my eye was just the packaging. It came in this cute little box, and the box has little watermelon print on it. Um, it's, uh, once again, like the top is pink, has another little watermelon on it. And then if you open it, it says Sweet Dreams. And once again, like a cute little watermelon icon. So they did a great job with the packaging and then the fact that I could see through like the little cutout, it was a nice glass pink jar with a pink plastic lid. Of course, my inner girly girl who's just obsessed with pink knew I needed to try it. And as a result, here I am. So let's talk about how you actually use this product. So unlike a lot of other masks on the market that are designed to only be a 10 to 20 minute use mask, this is an overnight mask as the name of it suggests but there are actually two ways to use this mask so if you do want to use it as an overnight mask essentially all you need to do is after that last step in your skincare routine you want to make sure at that point that your skin has been cleansed and it's dry and you apply a generous amount of this all over your face but you want to avoid the eye area and you wanna just really push it into the skin, make sure the skin's really absorbing it um, the most that it can right away, and then essentially all you have to do is go to bed. That's it. Then when you wake up in the morning, it's time to wash your face, you wanna just wipe your whole face down, and you're good to go. So that's the first way to use it, and if you use it that way, you can use it around two to three times a week or as needed, but if you have really sensitive skin, that brings us to the second way that you can use this product, and that would be using it as a 10 minute mask. So if you're gonna use it in that way, you're gonna basically do the same beginning steps. You're gonna make sure you have cleansed, dry skin, then you're going to take a generous amount of the product, apply it all over the face, avoiding that eye area, really push it, pat it into the skin, and then after 10 minutes, take a washcloth with some lukewarm water and wash it off. So you can use it that way if you have sensitive skin, but I'll be completely honest, I do have sensitive skin and I've only been using it as an overnight mask. And I know that this is a first impressions video, but given that this is an overnight mask and I wanted to just sit down and film this all at once, um, I tried it about two times so far. Uh, just so that I would kind of know what I initially think of the product and I intend on continuing to try it for a couple of weeks and then reporting back uh, with my full-on review of it and I'll probably do that in a blog post similar to how I did it with the watermelon facial mist but basically um, like I said I've tried it a couple times as the overnight mask and my initial thoughts on it are that I do really like it even with sensitive skin it seems to really work well for me I do exactly what they say to do for the overnight night instructions I've applied like a generous amount of it to my face except obviously not the eye area and initially as soon as you put it on and make sure it's kind of absorbed you will notice your skin automatically um, looks a lot more hydrated um, which is great but I know with a lot of products you might initially look hydrated and then when you wake up in the morning it's like 
nothing happened. That is definitely not the case with this product. After using this, when I wake up in the morning, I feel like my skin looks so hydrated. It's glowy and just really, really pretty. And I noticed that the first time I used it and it kind of hooked me on it. We're only using it, I think, two times so far. I'm really, really liking it. Of course, in order to give a full-on review, I do need to continue trying it but liking it so far and I wanted to get this video up because I know with some Trader Joe's products, it's like they have them one time in the store and once they're sold out, they're sold out, especially with these seasonal skincare items. I say that you should get it, especially since it's only $6.99. The product's great and the packaging is even cuter. It's gonna look great sitting on your countertop and even the box, the packaging it comes in is super cute. So overall, really liking it so far. So if you're interested in it, I say go for it. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video and you found it to be helpful. If you have any specific questions about this mask, please leave those in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I'll be back soon with more beauty and lifestyle related videos. Talk to you soon. Bye.